Keith felt a sharp pain in his lower back and numbness in his feet. Rushed to the hospital, doctors discovered a blood clot had lodged in his lower spine. Twelve hours later after surgery, he was pronounced paralyzed from the waist down. I was just sure that it was not going to be anything horrible. It just turned out to be so 100% different. He immediately realized he wasn't ever going to walk again. Okay. Like, he'll come back, he'll be normal, he'll be, everything will be the same, and then once he did come home, everything was like way different. I don't remember a lot of, yeah, when he was walking. I remember some stuff. I remember when he would take, uh, take me fishing and hunting and all the fun stuff we'd do together, like camping. After persevering through seven years of procedures and complications, on April 19th, Keith entered surgery to halt a persistent nosebleed. In recovery, he lapsed into an emergency situation that resulted in permanent brain damage. When he was in the hospital for a nosebleed, I didn't think anything of it. I mean, he was in and out of the hospital so much, I thought a nosebleed, you know. All right, see you in a couple days. In the end, I was, I mean, I was shocked. I, I, I couldn't believe that that's what... That's what did it, despite, you know, diabetes and um, everything else he, he's been through, that it was the bloody nose that, that took him, you know. Through Gift of Life's help, Keith was able to donate his corneas, several vital organs, and best of all, he could donate his leg muscles and bones. In the end, Keith's life had come full circle. What would not work for him now helps someone walk.